to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Anna and today I have an all-new seller's haul for you guys and you guys I am so excited about this table so if you guys can't tell from here a lot of the items out on the table are both onyx and different calcites and these are all from Pakistan and you guys I am absolutely obsessed with this haul and I think you guys will see why after I show you everything but I ended up getting such fun and unique carvings from my supplier in Pakistan I honestly don't see carvings like these coming out of other places so I really love working with this supplier because he really does carry some of the most unique pieces I've ever seen and obviously the onyx oh my god it's just it's so gorgeous and if you guys don't know onyx and calcites are more on the affordable side there's also some other items that will be out on the table but you guys I'm absolutely obsessed with everything out on the table I did crystals from Pakistan probably over two years ago so it's been a while since I've restocked up on a lot of these different calcites and last time I had them I had more spheres and towers and less carvings this time around I got a lot more carvings I also have some fun pendant options as so let's well get started because I am so excited to show you guys what is out on the table so the first thing I'll go over are these towers so I did get some more towers in a lot of nice varieties of the calcites so there will be green calcites blue calcites calcites rose calcites as well as pink manganos so you guys a lot of fun options for you guys the greens are very beautiful green colors the blues are very nice blues and just all the colors in here are absolutely amazing and I am so obsessed with so gorgeous if you guys don't have any type of calcites I would definitely recommend joining this live sale because you guys will not be disappointed and then a crowd favorite that I finally restocked are these gorgeous rose calcite so there is a difference between rose calcite also pink mangano calcite and then there's also pink banded onyx slash calcite so we will go over all of those because they are all a little bit different but how gorgeous are these rose calcites these usually do really well in the shop and a lot of other shops don't usually get rose calcite so i am super excited about that because i know it's something that's not very common also as promised i did get some more of those gorgeous pink mangano calcites these are uv reactive so under a uv light there'll be this really gorgeous like highlight pink color it's like a really nice hot pink color when you put it under a uv light so i know a lot of you guys wanted some more of the pink manganos so i did get some more of those as you guys can tell i do have only a couple of options i didn't stock up on too much because i know a lot of you guys already have bought these calcites from me before so i didn't want to stock up on a ton of these because i know a lot of you guys already have these. but for new folks and new customers to the website i did decide to stock up on some more i also got some more of the gorgeous serpentine you guys how stunning are these i also have some peruvian serpentine coming which i'm super excited about but how oh, i just i love the greens that come out of pakistan they are just so beautiful and then of course a crowd favorite i did get some more nephrite jade in it's this really gorgeous deep green color almost like a foresty green color and they are just so gorgeous and i'm super excited about these because i know the last time i had them i had very limited options i also do have very limited options this time around but i'm excited that i was able to get my hands on some more because i know a lot of you guys wanted more of the nephrite jade also i was able to get some lapis in but my supplier didn't have too much so i definitely will be back and trying to get some more lapis so i only have a very limited stock of lapis they just currently didn't have a lot available so i have two mini towers and then i did get one of these absolutely stunning bowls and the reason i did get one is because they are pretty priced but if it does sell out and you guys are interested please let me know and i will get an exact amount of what's needed because these are higher quality bowls so they are super expensive but you guys absolutely stunning so i ended up getting two bowls i was able to keep one and then my supplier only had one more that i will put out on the table but hopefully since it's been a while hopefully they have more bowls so definitely let me know if you guys are interested and then the last options for towers are of course these gorgeous blue calcites and you guys 
they just remind me of the ocean so much and a lot of their matrix is like brown and white and then the tops are blue so it just really reminds me of like the beach and the Caribbean so I am super excited about these towers because again it's been a while since I've had them in the shop also they're just really really pretty to be honest with you guys they are so fun to look at and all the colors just give me such summer vibes so going off onyx I did also get a lot of onyx items for you guys that I am super excited about I got these really cute mortar and pestle sets so I had these in different sizes before. I don't think I had these in these like mini mini sizes, but I just thought these were so adorable. So I did get a few of those. I can also get some bigger sizes. So of course, always let me know either directly message me over on Instagram or you can leave it down in the comment section down below. I always love to read and check my comments. And next to the mortar and pestle sets, my supplier did have these really cute onyx jars. So they are small. I thought they were a lot bigger, but they are on the smaller end. But again, I just thought they were so adorable. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like as we get older, we really like like little trinkets. So when I see little things like this, honestly, I am so drawn to them. I even notice like when I go to Marshalls or anything like that, I see little bowls or boxes and I'm like, oh my God, these are so cute. I need them. But I just thought these were so adorable. I don't even know what kind of use they would be, but I just thought they were really cute. Um, they are super small, so maybe putting something really small in there, not even too much jewelry, maybe a couple studs can fit in there, but it is on the smaller end. But again, I just, oh, I love these tchotchkes. Now it's like I've gotten older, I really gravitate towards like small bowls, small little jars. I'm just absolutely obsessed. And then the next thing I got are these really cute small little onyx hearts. So a small variety, they aren't big hearts. So I do have some smaller options, some larger options. Again, I just feel like you can never go wrong with onyx. So there will be a lot of different onyx carvings on the table. And then I did really gravitate towards the different carvings that my supplier had. Again, it's just a lot of the carvings you see on the market are from China. And I do feel like a lot of different countries have their own signature carvings or markings that I absolutely love and I kid you guys not I really love the different carvings that my supplier from Pakistan has like look at how gorgeously detailed these leaf carvings are I'm absolutely obsessed I just really enjoyed every type of different carving that he had now I know a lot of you guys don't like too many carvings I have noticed that they don't do too well in my shop so I didn't get too many of them but I did get a nice variety also a nice variety in colors so there will be some good options also if you're not into carvings try getting like a small carving and see how you feel about it because I actually for a long time when I first started collecting only really collected like towers, spheres, hearts, palm stones, right? Like your more traditional pieces. But then when I branched out to carvings, you guys, like these butterfly carvings, how gorgeous. Again, they're just different. They're definitely different from what you see out of carvings from China. Um, everyone has their speciality and I do think Chinese carvings are really gorgeous, but I do really appreciate carvings from around the world because they're just a bit more different. I also got these larger butterflies in chocolate calcite. Oh, I can't talk about chocolate calcite enough. I think it is one of those calcites that are honestly looked over and not too many people get, but I absolutely love the color of them. They're just a really beautiful light brown to a dark brown color that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I also did get some really cute mini moons in a lot of the calcites. So I do have some options of the green calcites as well as the blue calcites in these mini moons. So even though I know a lot of you guys don't buy too many carvings from me, I know a lot of you guys love more mini and smaller carvings. So that's what I was mindful of. I got a lot of the carvings on the smaller end because I know a lot of you guys really enjoy things like minis. Then the next Onyx carving that I got are these gorgeous seashells. And I absolutely love that it comes kind of with a stand so you can stand it up. I just thought that was super unique. Um, a lot of the kind of seashells and carvings like that that you see come out of China, you kind of have to lay it flat or lay it on its side. They don't really stand up like this. So I really enjoyed these. I just thought it was 
a different and fun way to display kind of a seashell carving. So I did get a few options. There are some that have more banding, less banding. A lot of them are green onyx with a lot of gorgeous browns and oranges. I do have some lighter yellow and beige onyxes as well. So again, I really try to get you guys a really nice variety of different colors when it comes to onyx. Also, when it comes to anything like onyx or agates, I really love a lot of nice banding or veining. So, so I was super mindful to get carvings that had a lot more banding and things like that in them, just because that's what I really gravitate towards. Then I also got some unique shapes of these moon and cloud. So as you guys can see right here, I did get these fun moon and cloud carvings. This in particular one is pink mangano calcite, and I got these in a little bit of different variety. And again, it comes flat at the bottom so you can stand it up. I just thought that was super unique. Again, not something common that you see, and I did get them in a lot of different varieties. So I got them all in different calcites. So I will have some Caribbean calcite, pink mangano, and chocolate calcite in the cloud and moon options. I just thought these were super fun. Almost reminded me of something you would see maybe in like a nursery or something that you would get for like a child as like a present or something like that. I just thought they were super fun and super flexible. You kind of can put them everywhere around your house. Then the next thing that I really, really enjoyed were these really interesting onyx dragon carvings. So when you get dragon carvings out of China, um, they are pretty basic. A lot of the dragon carvings that you see out of China are usually just the skull part or the face part. So I really found this interesting that it was a full body dragon kind of flying in the air. I just thought that was super unique. And I don't know about you guys and I don't know if I have some fans on here that watch Game of Thrones, but for some reason these just reminded me of like the dragons from Game of Thrones when they're always like flying off and spreading their wings. So I just, I had to get some of those. I also did get some fun pendant options for you guys as well. So usually when I've had pendants and stuff like that before, it's been citrine. So these are really unique because I did get some jade options. I also got some super funky lapis lazuli options as well. Kind of looks like a fully polished freeform, which I thought was really cool. And then I got some smaller kunzites and aquamarines for you guys as well. So there will be a little bit of variety. Again, I just thought these were a little bit different than what you normally see. So I was just excited to pick them up because again, it's just not something common. Or when you do see things like kunzite or aquamarine on necklaces, it's usually super expensive. But my supplier in Pakistan had really good pricing on the pendants, so I did pick some up for you guys. Also over to the left hand side, I know you guys might not be able to tell. I also have some mini options for the larger towers. So, so I have some beautiful rose calcite and the blue calcites in like a smaller option. So if you guys can tell like the bigger options are on the back stands. And then I have off to the side some smaller options. But of course, because these are calcites, they already will be priced at really good pricings. But I did decide to get some smaller ones because again, I am mindful of everyone's price point and everyone has different budgets. Also, I wanted to show you, you guys, I am so excited about these. I got some really gorgeous pink banded calcite, also known as pink banded onyx palm stones. And you guys, they are so stunning. The banding in these, again, as I mentioned, I am a sucker for any type of good banding. So the banding on these is really beautiful. And they're all a little bit different. Like not each palm stone is the same, which is what I really love about these. They're all so unique and the colors are just insane. So they all have a really nice mix of like pinks, baby pinks, a lot of greens and beiges in them. So a, so lot, a lot of nice variety for these beautiful pink banded calcites, which I am super excited about. And then the last thing that I have out on the table are some more of these bowls. So these are triple moon bowls. They kind of look like candies as well. So I have them in two options. I got these beautiful wood jasper bowls which is so funny because it almost looks like real wood and not jasper like you wouldn't think this is a stone you would think this is like petrified wood or something but it is called wood jasper and then i also did get some in chocolate calcite as well because as i mentioned i am really obsessed with chocolate calcite i do think it is a crystal that is 
passed up or you don't see too commonly so i am absolutely obsessed with these i love that they come in the bowl option and because they are kind of like a brown and dark brown color again they just remind me of like a wooden bowl so i just thought those were really cute as well so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's seller's haul. I'm super excited for you guys to join the live sale and see the table. If you are available, the live sale will be over on my Instagram in two hours. This video usually posts at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So the live sale will be over on my Instagram at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But anything that is left over will be posted to the website either tonight or first thing Saturday morning. So if you go on the website and you don't see anything today, don't worry. It probably was a late night or the live went a little bit longer. So I will be posting them first thing on Saturday. I do expect that some things will probably be left over. But I really hope if you can join to definitely join because obviously you will have first dibs on a lot of these items and I'm also super excited because again a lot of the carvings are more unique that you don't see from other countries so I'm super excited about those so thank you guys so much for joining thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys